I'd like to introduce you to my fabrics. There's a lovely collection of them. A bit of boho chic, a little bit of French, a little bit of country. And this is a collection I think works really well with my paints. Now I don't have time to do what I used to do, which is I used to make my own curtains a lot. I used to hand sew them. And I now work with Julie, who is just totally on my wavelength. She understands how I work. She's, she's terrific. So she's going to demonstrate how to do a simple curtain so you can do it for yourself. Julie, I'd like you to make this very simple curtain. Um, it's just this one here I've done with a double or two inch head of tape, but I'd like you to make one with just a single one inch head of tape. Um, because that way, when that's made, and you've understood how to do that one, you can make any curtain after that. You could make one with a leading edge like this, or just simple. And I'd like this one just to be a simple one, um, lined, of course, with the French, French hands. Perfect. So a little gathering. Yep. And yeah. a yeah, one inch. Yeah, about that much. That's good. Down yeah. from the top, lining. Very nice. Perfect. Always start from the bottom. This is turning the hem up. It's a double turning hem and it's 7.5 centimetres or three inches. Then the sides, two inches. The next bit is your mitre. It's the point where the side and the hem meet. Then turn a right angle, turn it up, turn it in and turn it up. I'm going to put a penny weight in the corners, sew it into a little bag for safety. This is the stitch that holds the turning down. And you're just going through one layer of fabric and just taking one thread. I'm going to sew the penny weight into the mitered corner. It holds the curtain nice and straight. I'm going to sew the hem, just do a double knot. I'm going to do a little stitch like this. So the next bit is attaching the lining. You need to turn it in 2.5 or 1 inch. So turn up the hem and it's double turning. Just pin up the hem and ready to machine it. Just going to attach the lining to the main fabric, just using a little slip stitch. Now I've finished sewing the lining to the main fabric, I'm going to do the heading. Set the uh, turning 10 centimetres or 4 inches, fold it over. Heading tape needs to be 7.5 centimetres for the top, or three inches. So now I'm going to machine it. So we're just finishing off the heading. And this is the fun bit where you get to gather it and see how beautiful it's turned out. And here's the finished curtain. Oh, let's have a look. Beautiful. Thank you so much. You're it's pleased. the perfect design for this really lovely country fabric. Mm -hmm.